Old Church Slavonic or Old Slavonic, also known as Old Church Slavic or Old Slavic, was the first Slavic literary language It is also referred to as Paleo-Slavic or Paleo-Slavic not to be confused with the Proto-Slavic. It is often abbreviated to OCS. The 9th century Byzantine missionaries Saint Cyril and Methodius are credited with standardizing the language and using it in translating the Bible and other ancient Greek ecclesiastical texts as part of the Christianization of the Slavs. It is thought to have been based primarily on the dialect of the 9th century Byzantine Slavs living in the province of Thessalonica now in Greece. It played an important role in the history of the Slavic languages and served as a basis and model for later Church Slavonic traditions, and some Eastern Orthodox and Eastern Catholic churches use this later Church Slavonic as a liturgical language to this day. As the oldest attested Slavic language, OCS provides important evidence for the features of Proto-Slavic, the reconstructed common ancestor of all Slavic languages. History. The language was standardized for the mission of the two apostles to Great Moravia the territory of today's Western Slovakia and Czech Republic, see Glagolitic alphabet for details. For that purpose, Cyril and his brother Methodius started to translate religious literature to Old Church Slavonic, allegedly based on the Slavic dialects spoken in the hinterland of their hometown, Thessaloniki, in today's Greece. As part of the preparation for the mission, in 862-863, the Glagolitic alphabet was created and the most important prayers and liturgical books, including the Aprakos Evangelier a gospel book lectionary containing only feast day and Sunday readings, the Psalter, and Acts of the Apostles, were translated. The Gospels were also translated early, but it is unclear whether Sts. Cyril or Methodius had a hand in this. The language and the alphabet were taught at the Great Moravian Academy Slovak, and were used for government and religious documents and books between 863 and 885. The texts written during this phase contain characteristics of the Slavic vernaculars in Great Moravia. In 885, the use of Old Church Slavonic in Great Moravia was prohibited by Pope Stephen V in favor of Latin. Students of the two apostles, who were expelled from Great Moravia in 886, brought the Glagolitic alphabet to the First Bulgarian Empire. There it was taught at two literary schools, the Preslav Literary School and the Ored Literary School. The Glagolitic alphabet was originally used at both schools, though the Cyrillic script was developed early on at the Preslav Literary School where it superseded Glagolitic. The texts written during this era exhibit certain linguistic features of the vernaculars of the First Bulgarian Empire. Old Church Slavonic spread to other southeastern, central, and eastern European Slavic territories, most notably Croatia, Serbia, Bohemia, Lesser Poland, and principalities of the Kievan Rus while retaining characteristically South Slavic linguistic features. Later texts written in each of those territories then began to take on characteristics of the local Slavic vernaculars and, by the mid-11th century, Old Church Slavonic had diversified into a number of regional varieties known as recensions. These local varieties are collectively known as the Church Slavonic language. Apart from the Slavic countries, Old Church Slavonic has been used as a liturgical language by the Romanian Orthodox Church, as well as a literary and official language of the princedoms of Wallachia and Moldavia see Old Church Slavonic in Romania, before gradually being replaced by Romanian during the 16th to 17th centuries. Church Slavonic maintained a prestigious status, particularly in Russia, for many centuries. Among Slavs in the East, it had a status analogous to that of Latin in Western Europe, but had the advantage of being substantially less divergent from the vernacular tongues of average parishioners. Some Orthodox churches, such as the Bulgarian Orthodox Church, Russian Orthodox Church, Serbian Orthodox Church, Ukrainian Orthodox Church and Macedonian Orthodox Church, Ored Archbishopric, as well as several Eastern Catholic churches, still use Church Slavonic in their services and chants today. Script <inaudible> 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 Initially Old Church Slavonic was written with the Glagolitic alphabet, but later Glagolitic was replaced by Cyrillic, which was developed in the First Bulgarian Empire by a decree of Boris I of Bulgaria in the 9th century. 
The local Bosnian Cyrillic alphabet, known as Bosangsica, was preserved in Bosnia and parts of Croatia, while a variant of the angular glagolitic alphabet was preserved in Croatia. See early Cyrillic alphabet for a detailed description of the script and information about the sounds it originally expressed. Topic: <laughs> Phonology. Topic: For Old Church Slavonic, the following segments are reconstructable. A few sounds are given in Slavic transliterated form rather than in IPA, as the exact realization is uncertain and often differs depending on the area that a text originated from. Consonants The letter S denoted different sounds in different dialects and is not shown in the table. In Bulgaria, it represented the sequence and it is normally transliterated as saint for that reason. Farther west and north, it was probably, c, or, like in modern Macedonian, Torlakian and Serbian, Croatian. Dz, appears mostly in early texts, becoming, z, later on. The distinction between l, n and r, on one hand, and palatal l, in, and r, on the other, is not always indicated in writing. When it is, it is shown by a palatization diacritic over the letter, Ln topic vowels topic accent is not indicated in writing and must be inferred from later languages and from reconstructions of Proto-Slavic. The pronunciation of yat e differed by area. In Bulgaria, it was a relatively open vowel, commonly reconstructed as a, but further north, its pronunciation was more closed and it eventually became a diphthong, j, e.g., in modern Standard Croatian, or even i, in many areas, e.g., in Chakavian Croatian, Stokavian Ikavian Croatian dialects, or Ukrainian, or e, modern Standard Serbian. The er, and vowels i and u are often called ultrashort and were lower, more centralized and shorter than their counterparts i and y, u. They disappeared in most positions in the word, already sporadically in the earliest texts but more frequently later on. They also tended to merge with other vowels, particularly i with e and u with o, but differently in different areas. The exact articulation of the nasal vowels is unclear because different areas tend to merge them with different vowels. E is occasionally seen to merge with E or E in South Slavic, but becomes Ya early on in East Slavic. O generally merges with U or O, but in Bulgaria, O was apparently unrounded and eventually merged with U. Topic: <laughs> Phonotactics. Topic. Several notable constraints on the distribution of the phonemes can be identified, mostly resulting from the tendencies occurring within the common Slavic period, such as intrasyllabic synharmony and the law of open syllables. For consonant and vowel clusters and sequences of a consonant and a vowel, the following constraints can be ascertained. Two adjacent consonants tend not to share identical features of manner of articulation. No syllable ends in a consonant. Every obstruent agrees in voicing with the following obstruent. Velars do not occur before front vowels. Phonetically palatalized consonants do not occur before certain back vowels. The back vowels, y, and, as well as front vowels other than, i, do not occur word initially. The two back vowels take prothetic, v, and the front vowels prothetic, j. Initial, a, may take either prothetic consonant or none at all. Vowel sequences are attested in only one lexeme paasina, spider, s web, and in the suffixes a and a of the imperfect. At morpheme boundaries, the following vowel sequences occur: i, o, ow, oi, o, u, a, eo. Topic: Morphophonemic alternations. Topic. As a result of the first and the second Slavic palatalizations, velars alternate with dentals and palatals. In addition, as a result of a process usually termed iotation or iodization, velars and dentals alternate with palatals in various inflected forms and in word formation. In some forms the alternations of c with c and of dz with z occur, in which the corresponding velar is missing. The dental alternance of velars occur regularly before e and i in the declension and in the imperative, and somewhat less regularly in various forms after i, e, and r. 
The palatal alternance of velars occur before front vowels in all other environments, where dental alternance do not occur, as well as in various places in inflection and word formation described below. As a result of earlier alternations between short and long vowels in roots in Proto Indo European, Proto Balto Slavic, and Proto Slavic times, and of the fronting of vowels after palatalized consonants, the following vowel alternations are attested in OCS. I, Y, U, E, E, I, O, A, O, E, E, A, Y, I, E, I, Y, E, vowel. Alternations sometimes occurred as a result of sporadic loss of weaker, which later occurred in almost all Slavic dialects. The phonetic value of the corresponding vocalized strong jer is dialect specific. <laughs> Grammar as an ancient Indo-European language, OCS has a highly inflective morphology. Inflected forms are divided in two groups, nominals and verbs. Nominals are further divided into nouns, adjectives and pronouns. Numerals inflect either as nouns or pronouns, with 1 to 4 showing gender agreement as well. Nominals can be declined in three grammatical genders masculine, feminine, neuter, three numbers singular, plural, dual, and seven cases, nominative, vocative, accusative, instrumental, dative, genitive, and locative. There are five basic inflectional classes for nouns, o, jo stems, a, ya stems, i stems, u stems and consonant stems. Forms throughout the inflectional paradigm usually exhibit morphophonemic alternations. Fronting of vowels after palatals and j yielded dual inflectional class o, jo and a, ya, whereas palatalizations affected stem as a synchronic process nsg. vl, k, vsg. vl, c, lsg. vl, c. Productive classes are o, jo, a, ya and i stems. Sample paradigms are given in the table below. Adjectives are inflected as o, jo stems masculine and neuter and a, ya stems feminine, in three genders. They could have short indefinite or long definite variants, the latter being formed by suffixing to the indefinite form the anaphoric third-person pronoun j. Synthetic verbal conjugation is expressed in present, aorist and imperfect tenses while perfect, pluperfect, future and conditional tenses, moods are made by combining auxiliary verbs with participles or synthetic tense forms. Sample conjugation for the verb vesti to lead underlyingly ved t is given in the table below. Topic basis and local influences Topic Written evidence of Old Church Slavonic survives in a relatively small body of manuscripts, most of them written in First Bulgarian Empire during the late 10th and the early 11th centuries. The language has a Southern Slavic basis with an admixture of Western Slavic features inherited during the mission of St. Cyril and Methodius to Great Moravia 863-885. The only well-preserved manuscript of the Moravian recension, the Kiev Folia, is characterized by the replacement of some Southern Slavic phonetic and lexical features with Western Slavic ones. Manuscripts written in the Second Bulgarian Empire (1185–1396) have, on the other hand, few Western Slavic features. Old Church Slavonic is valuable to historical linguists since it preserves archaic features believed to have once been common to all Slavic languages such as these, most significantly, the er extra short vowels, i, and, u, nasal vowels, and, near open articulation of the yat vowel, a, palatal consonants, and, from Proto-Slavic asterisk n and asterisk l Proto-Slavic declension system based on stem endings, including those that later disappeared in attested languages such as u stems dual is a distinct grammatical number from singular and plural aorist, imperfect, Proto-Slavic paradigms for participle solved Church Slavonic is also likely to have preserved an extremely archaic type of accentuation probably close to the Chakavian dialect of modern Serbo-Croatian, but unfortunately, no accent marks appear in the written manuscripts. The southern Slavic nature of the language is evident from the following variations: phonetic ra greater than la by means of liquid metathesis of Proto-Slavic asterisk or asterisk ol clusters say from Proto-Slavic asterisk zcv d zv from Proto-Slavic asterisk kve asterisk gave morphosyntactic use of the dative possessive case in personal pronouns and nouns: erka t roka t your hand opsin gram otapustani grexomu remission of sins paraphrastic future tense using the verb hadi Zoteti, to want, use of the comparative form mini mini g, smaller to denote younger, morphosyntactic use of suffix demonstrative pronouns, t ta to tu, ta tu. 
In Bulgarian and Macedonian these developed into suffixed definite articles. Old Church Slavonic has some extra features in common with Bulgarian, near open articulation a of the yacht vowel e, still preserved in the Bulgarian dialects of the Rodopi Mountains, the existence of and d as reflexes of Proto-Slavic asterisk t use of possessive dative for personal pronouns and nouns, as in brat me bratu me, my brother, erka ti roka ti, your hand, opsin gram otapustani greksomu, remission of sins, ram molitivi kramu molitvi, house of prayer, etc. Paraphrastic compound future tense formed with the auxiliary verb hadi zoteti, to want, for example host pasati zosto pasati, I will write. Topic Great Moravia Topic The language was standardized for the first time by the mission of the two apostles to Great Moravia from 863. The manuscripts of the Moravian recension are therefore the earliest dated of the OCS recensions. The recension takes its name from the Slavic state of Great Moravia which existed in Central Europe during the 9th century on the territory of today's Western Slovakia and Czech Republic. Topic Moravian recension topic In the Prague fragments the only Moravian influence is replacing with ts, and d, with z. This recension is exemplified by the Kiev folia. Certain other linguistic characteristics include, confusion between the letters big yus, and uk o this occurs once in the Kiev folia, when the expected form vasud v, sud, is spelled vsard v, sod, ts, from proto-slavic asterisk tj, use of dz, from asterisk dj, asterisk skj use of the words m, sa, sirki, pape, prefacia, klepati, piskati etc. Preservation of the consonant cluster per deci leader, e.g. modlitvami use of the ending, m, instead of om, in the masculine singular instrumental, use of the pronoun, so topic First Bulgarian Empire topic Old Church Slavonic language is developed in the First Bulgarian Empire and was taught in Preslav Bulgarian capital between 893 and 972, and in Orid Bulgarian capital between 991-997 and 1015. It did not represent one regional dialect but a generalized form of early Eastern South Slavic, which cannot be localized. The existence of two major literary centers in the empire led in the period from the 9th to the 11th centuries to the emergence of two recensions otherwise called redactions, termed Bulgarian and Macedonian, respectively. Some researchers do not differentiate between manuscripts of the two recensions, preferring to group them together in a -Bulgarian or simply Bulgarian recension. Others, as Horace Lunt, have changed their opinion with time. In the mid-1970s, Lunt held that the differences in the initial OCS were neither great enough nor consistent enough to grant a distinction between a «Macedonian» recension and a «Bulgarian» one. A decade later, however, Lunt argued in favor of such a distinction, illustrating his point with paleographic, phonological and other differences. The development of Old Church Slavonic literacy had the effect of preventing the assimilation of the South Slavs into neighboring cultures, which promoted the formation of a distinct Bulgarian identity. <inaudible> Bulgarian recension The manuscripts of the Bulgarian recension or Eastern variant are among the oldest of the Old Church Slavonic language. This recension was centered around the Preslav Literary School. Since the earliest datable Cyrillic inscriptions were found in the area of Preslav, it is this school which is credited with the development of the Cyrillic alphabet which gradually replaced the Glagolic one. A number of prominent Bulgarian writers and scholars worked at the Preslav Literary School, including Nam of Preslav until 893, Constantine of Preslav, John Exarch, Chernorizes Rabber, etc. The main linguistic features of this recension are the following The Glagolitic and Cyrillic alphabets were used concurrently. In some documents the original supershort vowels, and, merged with one letter taking the place of the other. The original ascending reflex r, l, of syllabic, r, and, l, was sometimes metathesized to, r, l, or a combination of the ordering was used. The central vowel yy merged with i, i. Sometimes the use of letter Z, DZ, was merged with that of Z, Z. The verb forms Narika, Narikasi, Narikaho, Narikayesi were substituted or alternated with Narik, Narikjeski, Narikjajo, Narikjahesi. Macedonian recension The manuscripts of the Macedonian recension or Western 
Variant are among the oldest of the Old Church Slavonic language. The recension is sometimes named Macedonian because its literary center, Ored, lies in the historical region of Macedonia. At that period, administratively Ored formed part of the province of Kutmashevitsa in the First Bulgarian Empire until the Byzantine conquest. The main literary center of this dialect was the Ored Literary School, whose most prominent member and most likely founder, was Saint Clement of Ored who was commissioned by Boris I of Bulgaria to teach and instruct the future clergy of the state in the Slavonic language. The language variety that was used in the area started shaping the modern Macedonian dialects. This recension is represented by the Codex Zagrophensis and Marianus, among others. The main linguistic features of this recension include Continuous usage of the glagolitic alphabet instead of Cyrillic A feature called mixing confusion of the nasals, in which, became after r l n, and in a cluster of a labial consonant and l, became after sibilant consonants and j. Wide use of the soft consonant clusters and d. In the later stages, these developed into the modern Macedonian phonemes c. Strict distinction in the articulation of the yurs and their vocalization in strong position, greater than, o, and, greater than, e, or deletion in weak position. Confusion of, with yacht and yacht with, e. Denasalization in the latter stages, greater than, e, and, greater than, a. O, wider usage and retention of the phoneme, dz, which in most other Slavic languages has de affricated to, z. Topic. Later recensions Topic. Later use of the language in a number of medieval Slavic polities resulted in the adjustment of Old Church Slavonic to the local vernacular, though a number of Southern Slavic, Moravian or Bulgarian features also survived. Significant later recensions of Old Church Slavonic referred to as Church Slavonic in the present time include, Slovene, Croatian, Serbian and Russian. In all cases, denasalization of the Yuses occurred, so that only Old Church Slavonic, modern Polish and some isolated Bulgarian dialects retained the Old Slavonic nasal vowels. <inaudible> Serbian recension the Serbian recension was written mostly in Cyrillic, but also in the Glagolitic alphabet depending on region. By the 12th century the Serbs used exclusively the Cyrillic alphabet and Latin script in coastal areas. The 1186 Miroslav Gospels belong to the Serbian recension. They feature the following linguistic characteristics. Nasal vowels were denasalized and in one case closed, asterisk e greater than e, asterisk o greater than u, e.g. OCS Roka greater than senior Ruka hand OCS Jezik greater than senior Jezik tongue language extensive use of diacritical signs by the Reseva dialect use of letters i y for the sound i in other manuscripts of the Serbian recension due to the Ottoman conquest of Bulgaria in 1396 Serbia saw an influx of educated scribes and clergy who reintroduced a more classical form closer resembling the Bulgarian recension Topic. Russian recension Topic. The Russian recension emerged after the 10th century on the basis of the earlier Bulgarian recension, from which it differed slightly. Its main features are Substitution of u for the nasal sound, o Merging of letters e and ya Topic. Middle Bulgarian Topic. The line between OCS and post-OCS manuscripts is arbitrary, and terminology varies. The common term, Middle Bulgarian, is usually contrasted to Old Bulgarian, an alternative name for Old Church Slavonic, and loosely used for manuscripts whose language demonstrates a broad spectrum of regional and temporal dialect features after the 11th century. Topic. Bosnian recension Topic. The Bosnian recension used the Bosnian Cyrillic alphabet better known as Bosangsica and the Glagolitic alphabet. Use of letters I, Y, E for the sound, I, in Bosnian manuscripts topic. Croatian recension topic. 
The Croatian recension of Old Church Slavonic used only the glagolitic alphabet of angular Croatian type. It shows the development of the following characteristics. Denasalization of PSL. Asterisk E greater than E, PSL. Asterisk O greater than U, E.g. CR, Ruka, OCS Roka. Hand. CR, Jezik, OCS Jezik. Tongue, language. PSL, asterisk Y greater than I, e.g. CR, BD, OCS Bithi. To be. PSL, weak positioned yours asterisk, an asterisk, in merged, probably representing some schwa like sound, and only one of the letters was used, usually. Evident in earliest documents like Basque tablet. PSL, strong positioned yours asterisk, and asterisk, were vocalized into a in most Stokavian and Kakavian speeches, e.g. cr, pa, ocsp, s, dog. PSL, hard and soft syllabic liquids asterisk r and r retained syllabicity and were written as simply r, as opposed to OCS sequences of mostly r, and r, e.g. krst, and trg, as opposed to OCS kr, street, and trg, cross. Market. PSL, hash v, c and hash v, c greater than hash uc, e.g. cr, udova, ocs, v, dova, widow. Topic. Canon Topic. The core corpus of Old Church Slavonic manuscripts is usually referred to as canon. Manuscripts must satisfy certain linguistic, chronological and cultural criteria to be incorporated into the canon, they must not significantly depart from the language and tradition of Sts. Cyril and Methodius, usually known as the Cyrillo-Methodian tradition. For example, the phrasing fragments, dating from the 10th century, show some linguistic and cultural traits of Old Church Slavonic, but they are usually not included in the canon, as some of the phonological features of the writings appear to belong to certain Pannonian Slavic dialect of the period. Similarly, the Ostromir Gospels exhibits dialectal features that classify it as East Slavic, rather than South Slavic so it is not included in the canon either. On the other hand, the Kiev Missal is included in the canon even though it manifests some West Slavic features and contains Western liturgy because of the Bulgarian linguistic layer and connection to the Moravian mission. Manuscripts are usually classified in two groups, depending on the alphabet used, Cyrillic or Glagolitic. With the exception of the Kiev Missal and Glagolita Closianus, which exhibit West Slavic and Croatian features respectively, all Glagolitic texts are assumed to be of the Macedonian recension. Kiev Missal, Key, KM, Seven Folios, Late Tenth Century. Codex Zagrophensis, Zo, Two Hundred Eighty-Eight Folios, Tenth or Eleventh Century. Codex Marianus, Mar, One Hundred Seventy-Three Folios, Early Eleventh Century. Codex Asemenius, Ass, One Hundred Fifty-Eight Folios, Early Eleventh Century. Psalterium Sinaiticum, Pa, Peace, Sin, One Hundred Seventy-Seven Folios, Eleventh Century. Eucologium Sinaiticum EU Oich 109 folios 11th century Glagolita Closianus CLO Claus 14 folios 11th century Orid folios or 2 folios 11th century Rila folios RI RIL 2 folios and 5 fragments 11th century all Cyrillic manuscripts are of the Bulgarian recension Preslav literary school and date from the 11th century except for the Zagrafos which is of the Macedonian recension or a literary school Sava's book SA save 126 folios Codex Supraslensis SUPR 284 folios Anina Apostle N E N I N 39 folios Holandar folios HDs, Hill, two folios Undal, SKIJ, S fragments und, two folios Macedonian folio Mac, one folio Zagrafos fragments Zodger. FR, two folios Sluck Salter Ps. SL, SL, five folios Topic. Sample text Topic. Here is the Lord's Prayer in Old Church Slavonic. Topic. Authors. Topic. 
The history of Old Church Slavonic writing includes a northern tradition begun by the mission to Great Moravia, including a short mission in the Balaton Principality, and a Bulgarian tradition begun by some of the missionaries who relocated to Bulgaria after the expulsion from Great Moravia. Old Church Slavonic's first writings, translations of Christian liturgical and biblical texts, were produced by Byzantine missionaries St. Cyril and St. Methodius, mostly during their mission to Great Moravia. The most important authors in Old Church Slavonic after the death of Methodius and the dissolution of the Great Moravian Academy were Clement of Ored, active also in Great Moravia, Constantine of Preslav, Chernorozits Rabber, and John Exarch, all of whom worked in medieval Bulgaria at the end of the 9th and the beginning of the 10th century. The Second Book of Enoch was only preserved in Old Church Slavonic, although the original most certainly had been Greek or even Hebrew or Aramaic. Nomenclature The name of the language in Old Church Slavonic texts was simply Slavic, Slovensk k Slovenisku Jeziku, derived from the word for Slavs, Slavna Slovene, the self-designation of the compilers of the texts. This name is preserved in the modern names of the Slovak and Slovene languages. The language is sometimes called Old Slavic, which may be confused with the distinct Proto-Slavic language. Different strains of nationalists have tried to claim Old Church Slavonic, thus OCS has also been variously called Old Bulgarian, Old Croatian, Old Macedonian, or Old Serbian, or even Old Slovak, Old Slovenian. The commonly accepted terms in modern English language Slavic studies are Old Church Slavonic and Old Church Slavic. The term Old Bulgarian German, Alt -Bulgarish, is the only designation used by Bulgarian language writers. It was used in numerous 19th-century sources, e.g. by August Schleicher, Martin Hatala, Leopold Geitler and August Laskian, who noted similarities between the first literary Slavic works and the modern Bulgarian language. For similar reasons, Russian linguist Alexander Vostokov used the term Slav Bulgarian. The term is still used by some writers but nowadays normally avoided in favor of Old Church Slavonic. The term Old Macedonian is occasionally used by Western scholars in a regional context. The obsolete term Old Slovenian was used by early 19th century scholars who conjectured that the language was based on the dialect of Pannonia. Topic: <laughs> Modern Slavic nomenclature. Topic. Here are some of the names used by speakers of modern Slavic languages. Belarusian, Staroslavanska Amova Staroslavianska Jamova, Old Slavic language Bulgarian, Starobulgarski Starobulgarski, Old Bulgarian and Staroslavanski, Staroslavjanski, Old Slavic Bosnian, Staroslavenski, Staroslavenski, Old Slavic Croatian, Staroslavenski, Old Slavic Czech, Staroslovenstina, Old Slavic Macedonian, Staroslovenski Staroslovenski, Old Slavic Polish, Starosirkuno Slovianski, Old Church Slavic Russian, Staroslovenskij Azik Staroslovjanskij Jazik, Old Slavic language Serbian, Staroslovenski Staroslovenski, Old Slavic Slovak, Staroslovensina, Old Slavic Slovene, Starosirkvina Slovanchina, Old Church Slavic Ukrainian, Staroslav Anska Mova Staroslovjanska Mova, Old Slavic language Topic. See also Topic. Church Slavonic language List of Glagolitic manuscripts Old Macedonian Proto-Slavic language Slavonic Serbian Topic. References Topic Topic Bibliography Topic Topic External Links Topic Old Church Slavonic Online, a comprehensive tutorial at the A. Richard Diebold Center for Indo-European Language and Culture, Linguistics Research Center, University of Texas at Austin Medieval Slavic fonts on AATSEEL 
Old Slavic Data Entry Application Corpus Cyrillo Methodianum Helsingens, an electronic corpus of Old Church Slavonic texts Research Guide to Old Church Slavonic Old Church Slavonic and the Macedonian Recension of the Church Slavonic Language, Elka Ulture in Macedonian. Vittore Pisani, Old Bulgarian Language, Sofia, Bukovica, 2012. English, Bulgarian, Italian. Philip Ammon, Tractatus Slavonicus. In, S. Yanni, Thoughts Georgian Scientific Journal of Literary Theory and Comparative Literature, N17, 2016, pp. 248-56 Agafia Hermit surviving in Russian wilderness for 70 years on YouTube.